Hello and welcome to Think Make Share. Today I'm making a quick video on explaining how one of our engraving machine works. So let's get started. The engraving machine that I use is called an IS200. It's from Gravograph and it's a flat engraving machine. The engraving area on this machine, the length of it is 225 millimeters and the depth that we could go is 80 millimeters. Right, the way this machine works is by dragging the cutter across the material and cut into the metal to engrave. So if I press start on this, as you could see, it's hitting the material and dragging. And as it's dragging, it's actually cutting right into the metal. That's what you call a drag engrave machine. I could also, for harder materials, you could put this on draw tree, which the spindle at the end actually rotates and cuts into the metal. Well, if this goes through, it's a Just a test one, this is. There you go. And that's how that, one, that works. So let's take a closer look at this tip that we've got on here. I've got another one here, a spare one. So if you look close enough, see in the middle there, that's what does the, uh, does the cutting. It's actually a diamond bit. And with this diamond bit, we could cut into stainless steel, tungsten, titanium, aluminium, gold, platinum. So any metal to be fair, these are quite good. And after a while, once these go dull, what we do is we just replace them or have the diamonds resharpened. So that's the cutter. And the software that comes with the machine is Gravastyle 98. And using this software, we can engrave anything from logos, names, whatever you require. With this machine, when we got it, as standard, only thing that came with it was these two jaws. But as we uh, got further into engraving, we expanded and got some more, which are some here. These ones here are for pen, for holding pens, to engrave pens. That one is, these jaws are for, for instance, little pendants, tiny, tiny items that we can't hold. We got smaller jaws for those, for watches, watchbacks. We got these ones here, and for the larger salvers and plates, it's these, which is pretty adjustable. We could do it to any size we want. So these come in handy. We just use these as and required. Uh, and the machines are quite expensive, to be fair, but they are a really good investment, um, and we need these running all the time. So once a year, we have these serviced from an engineer who comes in and services the machines uh, to look after it. The more you look after it, the longer it lasts. We've had this for, I think, around about 20 years. And fingers crossed, it seems to be doing well. Uh, as long as you look after your machines, they should look after you. Uh, thank you for watching. Think Bakeshire. See you in the next one.